pass. You see the end result, usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially mm -hmm. if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. So we have the touchdown now. Here's Blair Walsh to kick this one away. Got a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And a look at the Vikings' defensive unit. Harrison Smith is a player I love to watch. Whether he's ranging deep as a free safety or near the line of scrimmage where he makes more plays, keep your eyes on him. Newton now to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Throwing on third down, Newton. He's got time. And that is incomplete. The intended receiver was Corey Brown. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Viking football here as they take possession. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. They run again with Peterson. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. So second down was a run play. Now let's see what they do on third. They come out with one back and three tight ends. On third down, Bradford. And he fires one, but incomplete. Michael Pruitt, the big tight end, is intended receiver. And that's going to make it fourth down. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. On fourth down, they do snap it. Bradford, that's caught by Treadwell. And he's brought down after a good game. 27 yards on the game there. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on. That's caught Let's inside go. the 20. Touchdown, Vikings! Oh, move two. Their dangerous wide receiver. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. 